Hey everyone, Joel Trombley here, and today I'm going to talk about everything you need to know about CanBat's cold read lithium batteries and how they solve the problem of charging lithium batteries below freezing temperatures. Okay, so I'm not going to talk about why lithium batteries are the best. At this point in time, it's kind of clear that for any new recreational device or system, you know, lithium is just the way to go. Now that being said, I've noticed in the recent couple of years that there's been a bunch of these battery companies popping up all over the place. And there seems to be a huge competition for low price, but little regard or little control over quality. And trust me, I've gotten tons of emails of these companies just wanting to send me batteries to try out and promote on my YouTube channel. And honestly, it just, I don't know, it doesn't sit well with me and my values and what I want with this channel. I just want to showcase things, honestly, high quality products that I trust and use. Now, regardless of what products you decide to go with, I still strongly recommend that you do your own research because there's a lot of time, effort, and money behind these systems that you're developing. I left links down below for resources and other people who are way more qualified than I am to help you out with building your own off-grid system. Now, let's face it, the one problem with lithium batteries is cold weather charging. Attempting to charge a lithium battery below zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit will lead to permanent degradation in the performance and safety of the battery. Now that is why lithium batteries come with a BMS, a battery monitor system to help keep the battery protected. The BMS system protects the battery against things like low temperature charging. Now surprisingly, a lot of these cheaper batteries that you find online do not come with low temperature cutoff, which is a huge problem if you live anywhere above climate zone five. Now in order to solve this problem, there's a couple of options that we have. You can physically keep the battery in a environment that is above freezing temperatures. Now obviously this is difficult when you rely on power from the battery to keep the temperature of the space above freezing. In my trailer, I rely on a diesel heater. As long as I have enough power to run the diesel heater, I can get the temperature up above freezing and charge the battery. Alternatively, you can just take the battery out, you know, and bring it inside. But if you are truly off grid and don't have access to that, then what else are you left with? You can physically wrap a heater blanket around your battery and you can use an alternative power source to power that heater or you rely on the battery itself to keep itself warm, but that's kind of redundant because then you're using power of the battery to run the heater to charge the battery. You know what I mean? It doesn't really make much sense. And now the third option, which I'm seeing a lot more of, is you can buy a battery with heater built in. Oh my God! But then most of them, to the best of my knowledge, rely on power from the battery to run the heater. And so oh. if you don't have a charging source for an extended period of time, then the battery's gonna run flat. Lithium batteries inherently last a lot longer than traditional batteries, right? These ones here are rated up to over 3000 life cycles. But if you're relying on the power of the battery to heat itself, then you're just causing unnecessary wear and tear. Let's talk about how CanBat has actually solved this problem. CanBat manufactures some of the highest quality batteries available on the market, and they actually specialize in commercial grade, heavy duty appliances. The consumer level is just their you know, top notch stuff brought down for us to be able to buy. Batteries are manufactured with grade A prismatic cells. And so these are the highest tier cells that you can get. And so you're not getting any kind of recycled content. You know that if you're buying CanBat, you're buying quality. They offer a 10 year warranty, free shipping across all of North America and provide free comprehensive technical data sheets, more information that you'll ever need on all their batteries and how to maintain, use them and care for them. Most importantly, if you have a question and call them, they'll pick up the phone. No. Now, how do they deal with the cold? This is CanBat's 150 amp hour cold rated lithium battery. And this thing is an absolute game changer. This one has a built-in heater, but it communicates with the BMS on board. And so it detects two things. It'll detect that you are connecting it to a charging source and B, it'll detect the temperature. It'll see that if the temperatures are below freezing, it won't allow the battery to charge, right? Because it's protecting itself. But what it will do is draw power from the charging source to run the heater. And up until the point the battery has reached temperature, it will then allow the charging source to give power to the battery. <laughs> I don't know if any other battery is doing that on the market. Lithium batteries have no problem discharging below freezing temperatures. The only time you really need to keep this battery above freezing is when you're trying to charge it. So this integrated system saves a battery from using available life cycles, a battery that may cost a little bit more, but is designed to withstand the harshest climates in Canada. This thing has been living in the back of my truck 
for over six months now. It's just a setup that's worry-free. I don't have to think about it and it's awesome. I love it. So there's a few ways that you can recharge your battery. One way, for example, is to use a AC to DC charger, right? And it comes with a few plugs. This is from CanBat. It's a great proprietary system that I highly suggest, you know, so you can just bring your battery inside and connect it to the wall plug. But there's other ways to charge your battery. Like you can use solar, for example. You can do a inverter converter, which essentially is the same thing as this thing here, just larger. Or you can use a DC to DC charger like I have on board my truck here. Essentially, the truck charges the battery while driving. Hey, man. Can, how's it going? Can I help you? Yeah. What do you mean? I am here to tell you about today's sponsor. Okay. Yeah, go for it. I'm here to tell you about today's sponsor. Yeah. Me, myself, and I, Joel Tremblay. So make sure to like and subscribe. No, I'm not. No. All right. You know what? Just can you can you leave? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, see ya. Bye. Now you may notice that there's a little Bluetooth icon on the batteries, and that's because these have an add-on option of adding a Bluetooth chip, which makes the battery compatible with an app on your phone. For many standard battery, from looking at it, you would never know if it's dead, if it's fully charged, if it has a thousand life cycles done to it, or if it's never been used. And so with the Bluetooth chip, you can track real time, real data from the battery itself, like current applied loads, life cycles, the amount of life cycles that the battery has gone under, voltage and temperature. It's an awesome resource because basically it eliminates the need for a external battery monitor because you can just see everything in real time on your phone. All the data is right there for you to use. Okay, so I got everything set up here to do a little test. I got the 150 amp hour cold rated lithium battery. This one has a built-in heater. I've got the AC to DC just wall plug charger, lithium charger. It comes with Anderson plugs and we have a few options. To recharge the battery, we have little alligator clips or we have the bolt-on option, so I'm gonna use that for now. The internals of the battery are reading minus three degrees Celsius. I've drained the battery 5%. So let's hook the battery up to a charger and see what happens. All right, so both LEDs are reading red. Battery heater should kick on. The voltage is reading steady. This right now, we just have to give it some time and wait. While we wait for the battery to heat up, let's go over some physical properties of this battery. This is the 150 amp hour battery. It has 1,920 watt hours of available energy. It is 12 volts, a group size 4D, and weighs roughly 41 pounds. The physical dimensions of the battery are about 19 inches long nine and a half inches tall, and six and three quarter inches wide. The battery comes with nice little carry handles. And for the positive and negative lugs, it comes with 13 millimeter M8 bolts. So it's been a couple minutes now, and I can see that the battery temperature has already increased from minus three degrees Celsius to zero. Any time now, I should expect to see a charge starting to go into the battery. So I don't feel any heat coming off the batteries, all the magic is happening inside. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes now, and I can see that the battery is getting 15.3 amps of charge, and the temperature of the battery is just over five degrees Celsius. So that is incredible, because right now it's like minus 12 outside, and I'm able to charge this lithium battery outside in below freezing temperatures. Okay, so that's about it for me. I hope this video was informative, but also entertaining. I tried not to make it boring. Check out my website down below. For any questions, just leave them down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer. As always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and on to the next one.